Philippines surpasses the 200,000 mark in coronavirus cases. As of Wednesday, August 26, there are now a total of 202,361 coronavirus cases in the country. It is a big jump from Tuesday, August 25 because of a single-day 5,277 increase. Quezon City, the largest city in Epicenter Metro Manila, reaches a grim milestone with its coronavirus cases breaching the 20,000 mark. As of Tuesday, the city has 20,007 cases. With unprecedented months-long lockdown measures and the uncertainty brought about by the pandemic, the National Center for Mental Health reports over 5,000 calls were made to its hotline since March. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verheri says out of over 9,400 served by the hotline since May 2019, more than half of the calls were made from March to August 2020, or the period the country's been on lockdown. Meanwhile, pharma giant AstraZeneca on Tuesday says it already started a clinical trial of a drug designed to both prevent infection and treat people with COVID-19. The drug known as AZD7442 is being tested in volunteers. Results from the trial are expected by the end of 2020. Embattled PhilHealth President and CEO Ricardo Morales says he will resign after President Rodrigo Duterte asked him to vacate his post due to his health condition. In a radio interview Wednesday morning, Morales says he would submit a hard copy of his resignation letter to Executive Secretary Salvador Medildea. Morales thanks Duterte for allowing him to rest. Morales is undergoing treatment for cancer and has been on medical leave. Duterte appointed Morales, a retired Army General, to PhilHealth in June 2019 to flush out corruption in the state agency. Also resigning is PhilHealth Senior Vice President Rodolfo Del Rosario Jr., who resigned effective August 24. Del Rosario is one of the four of the so-called mafia in PhilHealth who allegedly ran fraudulent schemes and lined their pockets with at least 15 billion pesos. Meanwhile, the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee also recommends the filing of charges against three former officials of the Aquino administration over their alleged use of 10.6 billion pesos intended for PhilHealth's senior citizen members. Senator Richard Gordon says former Health Secretary Janet Garin, former Budget Secretary Butch Abad, and former PhilHealth President Alexander Padilla diverted the fund to other projects that failed to deliver. Gordon adds the former officials might have diverted the funds to electoral campaigns in May 2016. Gordon also shows a video of a lap dance at a party held at a PhilHealth regional office, which formed part of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee's findings from its probe into anomalies in August 2019. Malacanang tries to downplay President Rodrigo Duterte's claim that his doctor told him to stop drinking liquor because his Barrett's esophagus was nearing stage 1 cancer. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says this medical warning was given to Duterte even before he became president. Back in October 2018, Duterte admitted drinking before going to bed. I was told to stop drinking years ago. But of late, bumalik kasi ako. I don't know for one reason or another, I, I just like to drink uh, brandy boy ako eh. ang totoo. And before I sleep, even if I'm alone, nagpitri shots ako pag matulog. Duterte claimed then that the growth in his esophagus was not cancerous. It's not clear if Duterte has already stopped drinking. But Roque insists the president will inform the public if he has a serious illness. Roque adds Duterte's virtual public appearances should be enough to quell rumors. Since his State of the Nation address on July 27, the public has not seen live and unedited footage of the president. The president has also not returned from his hometown of Davao City for three weeks, the longest he has been away from Malacanang. Filipino Catholic leader Archbishop Oscar Cruz dies of COVID-19 on Wednesday, August 26. He was 85. Cruz is known for not sparing any president from criticism. Most recently, Joseph Estrada, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Noynoy Aquino, and Rodrigo Duterte. Setor Panfilo Laxon calls that Archbishop, quote, a dear friend who loved our country next to God. Activist leader Renato Reyes says he remembers how Cruz did not shy away from mass actions, especially after 2004, during the critical years of the Arroyo regime. He recalls too that Cruz joined an impeachment complaint against former President Aquino 
over alleged fund irregularities. In a 2012 interview, Cruz told Rappler he regretted supporting the People Power Revolt that put Aquino's mother, Corazon, in power. He said the aftermath of the 1986 revolt was a very, very good opportunity for the Philippines to come out. Then, he mimicked the sound of a deflating balloon to describe what had happened since then. Let's talk about Edson. Do you regret taking part yes. in Yes. Because after that, we know what happened. <laughs> More recently, Cruz said Duterte is worse than a dictator. Cruz is also remembered for criticizing abuses within the Catholic Church itself, among them, priests who sire children. The drama surrounding collegiate basketball team USD Growling Tigers intensifies as former team captain CJ Cancino leaks Facebook messages with incriminating details on the conditions of their alleged training bubble in Capoy Sorsogon. In a chat group apparently created by Cancino, multiple team members seem to have revealed to parents their poor living conditions in head coach Aldin Ayo's alleged bubble. Team members such as Brent Paraiso and Ira Batalier complain to parents of oily and tasteless food allegedly prepared by the mother of Ayo's wife, Mina. Others also complain about being sick and allegedly abandoned altogether. Even reigning MVP Soleiman Chabio seemingly had enough, citing homesickness, boredom, and poor cell phone signal. The team and Ayo are currently being investigated by the UAAP, the Department of Health, and the Philippine Sports Commission. Ayo refuses to comment due to the ongoing inquiry, but pledges full cooperation to the agencies involved.